Hey man, what it is? This is Dame, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dame by any means. There go to PayPal, at Dame by any means. They both work. You already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated, y'all. Don't be an eavesdropper. Hit that like button. Don't be eavesdropping. <laughs> hey, y'all, I want to talk about something that's, um, you know, near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all know what I started off like that? We about to have a good conversation. The problem with boxing, the biggest problem in boxing today is, y'all, B-sides don't have options. Not if you is who you say you is. Not if what you want. First of all, nobody wants to stay a B-side. Let's make one thing clear before I start this video. Nobody wants to stay a B-side. Every single boxer that's in contention and is trying to get championships and all that, trust me, they all want to be on pay-per-view. They all want the big bags. They all want the spotlight. They all want the accolades. They're not doing this for their health. You don't step in that ring to not be the best. They don't step in that ring to say that they're going to lose. The biggest problem with boxing is that we have, in the fans, I blame the fans mostly. The fans have made boxers believe that are B-sides, that they are A-sides. You're a b -side. I don't care if you're a B-side to another B-side. I don't care about that. I mean, if you're an A-side to another B-side, I don't care about none of that, dog. Floyd Mayweathers had to do everything he had to do to get that Oscar De La Hoya fight. That's just the truth of the matter. David Benavidez has tried to do everything he could possibly do to get the Canelo Alvarez fight. If you want uh, Earl, Spence, um, Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, no matter what Terrence Crawford fans said, no matter what Earl Spence fans said, Terrence Crawford had to make that fight happen. And he had to do what he needed to do, which he fared better than most in negotiations and everything like that as far as getting the fight made. But he still had to do what he had to do to make the fights. B-sides don't have options, y'all. And when you argue for the B-side that he has all of these options, you're hurting the fighter. You're not helping him. You can't be helping him because what he wants is the same thing that we understand that he has to do what he has to do to get in position to get actually what he wants. It's the saying in boxing, if you want to beat a man, you got to beat the man. That has been true since the beginning of time. That has been true since we have fallen in love with boxing or even it's never been a point in my lifetime where that wasn't true. I don't matter what you feel about the man. It didn't matter that a lot of people didn't like Sonny Liston. A lot of people loved him. It didn't matter that part of it. The fact is Muhammad Ali wasn't Muhammad Ali or Cassius Clay until he beat Sonny Liston. You want to beat a man, you got to beat the man. No matter what you feel about the man. No matter what you felt about Errol Spence or whether you thought Terrence Crawford was better than him, the, the, that part didn't matter. The only part that matters is one is a pay-per-view attraction, the other's not. And neither one of the accolades is so far from the other where the accolades would even matter. This is not a fighter that's fought, that's fought five fights fighting a fighter that's fought, or should I say this is not a fighter fighting 11 fights that is fighting a former undisputed champion. Let me stop being petty. In order to beat a man, you you got to beat the man. No matter what you feel about Bud Crawford right now, Bud Crawford is a man in his respective weight divisions. In order to beat a man, you got to beat him, unless you Jamel Charlo, that's about it. But even Jamel Charlo still in a fight with Terrence Crawford would be the B-side, whether he liked that or not. See, y'all got to learn how to take y'all feelings out of boxing, and that's the problem with boxing. Y'all got to learn how to take your feelings out of it. Your feelings don't matter to what is. I tell y'all about this scene in The Wire. Shout out to Ari Black from Baltimore. Tell y'all about this scene in The Wire. Marlo went and got a lollipop out of the store. Um, and he had a pocket full of cash he could have paid for. He chose to steal it. Security guard come out. 
giving game, telling man, listen, man, what you're doing is wrong. You think you could just do whatever you want. And Marlo told him, see, your problem is you want things to be one way, but it's the other way. And then later on, the security guard got dealt with in X, Y, and Z. And the problem with that is where the security guard was at, security guard was completely in the right. If you are a B-side fighter, you could be completely in the right. If you are a fan of a B-side fighter, you could be completely in the right. That he's better, he accomplished more, the whole nine. The fact is, you feeling like that doesn't matter a little bit. It's not going to get venues booked. It's not going to be nothing to bring to a negotiation table. We got to stop being children and be adults. See, y'all like children. I want, I want, I want. And mama always used to sell, tell us. Didn't mama always used to say, in order to do what you want as an adult, you got to do things you don't want to do. We all are adults. We know that that is very true, right? Nobody wants to go to work. Nobody wants to go out here and make investments and, and, and have your investments go bad. And then you got to start over and go to school. Nobody wants to do that, but you also don't want to be hungry. You also want to take trips. You also want to mess with bad chicks and have nice foreign cars. Yeah, if you want that, well, you got to do a lot of things you don't want. Muhammad Ali used to say, um, I used to hate training. Hate training. But I went through all that pain to go through all that gain on fight night when I'm, when I'm victorious. You could want things to be a way. It don't make it the fact that we don't want Kamala Harris or Donald Trump being our presidential candidates, but they are. The fact of the matter is you're going to have to vote for it. We got to learn as boxing fans is we got we need people to understand their respective positions, where they are at in the boxing as a realm and move properly um, along those ways. Because as long as you're a B-side fighter, you can have the best argument in the world. It's not going to make pre people press by. And that's the part that matters. You could listen to all these fans tell you and make arguments. They be the same fan that don't buy your fight. If you think I'm lying about that, there's no reason why Terrence Crawford. It shouldn't be no reports that Terrence Crawford didn't do well on the pay-per-view numbers. It shouldn't be one report out like that, that Terrence Crawford didn't do well on the pay-per-view numbers. Terrence Crawford should do well over three, four, five hundred thousand pay per views, but he don't. It is what it is. And that goes to show you that everything that you said and everything people were saying about him and Earl, all of that probably was true. It was true because Terrence Crawford gave him a, a massive beatdown. The problem is people still didn't press by. Which hinders Terrence Crawford because he should have been a star 10 years ago. Terrence Crawford ain't just become good. Ten years ago, Terrence Crawford was 26, 27 years old, y'all. Y'all think Terrence Crawford wasn't good at 26, 27 years old? I highly doubt it. Boxing is not going to go further or get better or do any of that. We're not going to get the fights that we want to see until B-side fighters understand their position. The only reason why negotiations is hard is because the B-side fighter don't actually want to accept where he's at. Do y'all ever hear about Canelo having a, dra a drawn or drag out negotiation? You know why? Because it seems like with Canelo, he's the only fighter that people truly accept that they are the B-side. And they literally take what he gives them. But we understand that with Canelo. And Canelo still don't give us the fights that we want. That's the craziest part about it. He still don't do it. But guess what we also do? We hold Canelo fully accountable for that. I don't remember the last Canelo fights that I actually brought. I think was it was Jamel Charlo, and that was more for Jamel because I was a fan of Jamel and the PBC. But it, um, Jamel Charlo and um, Triple G and everything prior to that, because that's when he was actually fighting Danny Jacobs and all those. Yeah, I love that, which was a great fight, by the way. Um, all of those fights because he was actually fighting people that we wanted to see him fight. But until when he stopped doing that over the last two to three to four years, uh, I'm sorry, Canelo, you won't get my money. I can't know that you're blatantly ducking somebody and support you. Canelo, the problem is with Canelo, I can do that all I want. He's still going to fight. He's still going to sell four or 500,000 pay-per-views whether I like it or not. That's something that I know and I accept. The same way B-side fighters should, ex should accept where they are. Loma shouldn't have a choice in negotiations. 
if Loma is who he say he is, he should be he should be more than willing to take this fight. But then people will say they overpaid. They'll say that the fans don't know nothing. They'll say they they'll be mad about their popularity and what they bring monetary. And then and it's all because you don't get that that one concept. So you already know what this is, right? Ding, by any means. And I holla at y'all.